Hello and welcome to my first video on Economics 1 through UNISA. Uh, my name is Ellie and I will be taking you through it, so stop stressing, life's okay, and even if you missed the first assignment, you can still pass this module. So what I want to start with is how to draw a graph. It's quite important for economics, so let's discuss it. Here's the horizontal line, there's a zero, there's the vertical line. Now a big thing in economics is supply and demand. This one is demand. And this one is supply. Where the two meet is the equilibrium. What this means is if you are selling something, there is a price to it and there is a quantity demanded. Now, let's say I am selling Xboxes because everybody loves Xbox. Okay, so Xbox, how's the spelling there? Xbox, supply and demand. Now, let's say where everybody's happy is where I sell it for 1,600 Rand. And let's say everybody being happy over there is 50 students. Okay, so if we are at the equilibrium, there's a 1,600 Rand price tag on the thing. And there are 50, 50 people who are buying this Xbox. I know it looks a little bit confusing, but bear with me. Now remember I said this line over here is the demand curve. Now let's say we move the price of this Xbox up to 2,600 Rand. Okay, let's make the price there, 2,600 Rand. Over here it is the P for price. As soon as 2,600 Rand, it's more expensive. Now the demand, which is the amount of people that actually want to buy it at this price, will be a lot less because that is the demand curve so we stop there if you take that all the way down that is about 25 people that should be easy enough to understand 1600 rand we take all the way through to the demand curve that's for 50 people at 2600 rand the demand curve all the way down is 25 people now, I can do exactly the same all the way through to my supply line over here. If I am saying we are selling it for 2,600 Rand, the supply of Xboxes will run all the way through to my supply curve and meet over there. And then I take it all the way down to see over here, 75. So 75 people are offering an Xbox at 2,600 Rand, but only 25 people are willing to buy that, which means 50 people are going to be still left with their Xboxes without having to sell, without being able to sell it. Economics is all about the study of at what price is demand and, uh, demand and supply the same, and that is that point right over here. Please refer to my next video where I'm going to show you what happens when the demand or the supply changes.